Baada ya mwanasheria mkuu Kihara Kariuki kukata rufaa dhidi wa muuzo wa mahakama kuu, tume ya uchaguzi na mipaka IBC sasa imeelekea kotini kukata rufaa dhidi wa muuzo wa mahakama kuu. And it's only a court of appeal which should be able to throw light as to which judgment in law should suffice for purpose of the commission. Mahakama kuu kupitia Jopolo majaji wa tano iliamua kuwa tume ya IBC haina uwezo kisheria kuendesha shughuli zake kwani inakosa idadi kubwa ya makamishena. Kupitia mwenyekiti wake wa Fula Chebukati, tume hiyo imekwazwa na uamuzi huo na huenda utendakazi wake ukatiliwa shaka ikiwa uamuzi huo utasalia bila kubatilishwa na mahakama ya rufaa. The court on, it, on Thursday when it gave the judgment It also stated the judgment as far as quorum issues are concerned. The court the high court gave a stay of that same issue on the issue of quorum only and said the commission can go ahead and carry out its activities. So we are not in a crisis as far as the issue of quorum is concerned. Kulingana Chebukati, court hiyo ilitoa amuzi tofauti mwaka 2018 kuwa tume ya IBC ilikuwa na uwezo wa kuendesha shughuli yake kisheria. Hayo ya kijiri, madiwani wa kaunti ya Nakuru wamepinga uamuzi huu wa mahakama kuu uliotupilia mbali mchakato wa BBI kuwa haukuzingatia maslahi ya wananchi. Hata hivyo, kikundi cha Linda Katiba kikiongozwa na Martha Karua kimeunga mkono wa muuzi wa mahakama kikidai kuwa uamuzi huo utawezesha kulinda katiba dhidi ya mageuzi ya siofaa. State and public officers who violated the constitution and the law and used taxpayers money to promote BBI should immediately be sacked prosecuted and surcharged this includes Givasin Minor K24 Nairobi